All right, it's time for some Python on hardware time. There is so much going on every single week. Please subscribe to the newsletter. We're getting close to like, I think, 9,000 people who read this thing. Oh. Um, so uh, some highlights. I'm going to go over the big one in yeah. a bit. Uh, we did an interview with TI. That's going to be what I focus on. Uh, we have an Adafruit uh, Adabox reminder. Um, we now have keypad, support for vector and matrix key scanning in CircuitPython. Yes, you no longer have to do it by hand. Look, you could always do it by hand, but now it's done for you in CircuitPython, debalanced, and you get yep. events, so it's like so easy to build your keypad-powered projects. Great for the new MacroPad that just came out. Um, we're keeping everybody updated on microcontroller shortages. It ain't eight weeks. I don't know, 18, I don't know where they came up with the 18 weeks. I'm yeah. saying 95 week lead times. They get notified, notified every day. Um, one of our, our camera support that we're doing, there's Yay. an online editor for CircuitPython. Yay. Deep dives with Scott. And Toe then beans. the news from around the web, um, it goes on and on and on forever. Projects, 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 projects. And there's still a lot of keyboard stuff. Um, Keyboards, projects, Picos, keyboards, trinkies. Yeah. So this week's, um, Oh, and we also went over all of the um, MicroPython, CircuitPython things inside of Hackspace magazine this week. Um, so check it out. You can also read on the web at all times. And uh, it has our stats, all the things that we're doing with CircuitPython and more. And this week's highlight from it is, uh, so we saw this calculator come out. Can you hand me the box? Box. Yeah, so this is the box. This is uh, the TI-84 plus CE Python edition. And uh, we're like, wow, this is kind of interesting. In the TI calculator forums, because um, there's a big, gigantic TI calculator community, said, oh, this is running a fork of circuit Python. And I'm like, really? So I uh, tweeted with the folks at TI calculator and, um, or, and TI education, and they um, were able to get us questions, uh, sorry, get us answers back to some questions. So their team allowed us to interview them, which is really neat. And basically, the interview talks about, well, why are people using these calculators? Why Python? Um, they also have a really neat history of the TI calculator timeline, by the way. Oh, great. Yeah, great for seat. OK. Great, cool. <laughs> now I'm cooking up. Okay. These are cool. I like that first one. That so was great. It was, so I have to say, like I've been interviewing CEOs and interviewing developers and engineers mm -hmm. and business leaders and founders. And uh, I recently did the Siemens um, interview because yeah. I acquired Supply Frame and Hackaday and Tindy. And uh, I'm always thankful for when anyone gets back to us because uh, we're, although we're an electronics company, we're maybe one of the only independent entities talking about electronics now. Yeah. So this is interesting for us. And um, it's one of the reasons we still like to be a publisher. That's why we have a blog and all that. So um, go through and check this out. It's on our blog. And I just wanted to focus on a couple pieces. Uh, why add Python? Uh, because every calculator that we have been purchasing lately has yeah. Python on it. Yeah. There's the NumWorks. There's the Casio. There's the multiple TI. So I'm just like, why? Like, I would love to hear from TI. Why? And they say, coding skills are basic literally liter literacy these days. Int and introducing students to one of the fastest growing programming languages in the world gives students knowledge they can apply to future STEM careers by providing Python on our TI-83. TI-84 and TI Inspire graphic calculators. Students can learn a program using the same dedicated distraction-free tool they're already familiar with from math and science courses. That's cool. Cool. Um, and then I want to know, like, okay, like, you know, what are some of the features? They say that. And then, like, you know, the most important question for me was, like, why'd you pick CircuitPython? And they said, CircuitPython meets our needs for Python functionality in a constrained hardware environment. That's cool. Okay. Um, and then, uh, we asked if they'd be willing to put some upstream stuff up there, and they said they filed bugs and provided test cases in MicroPython for some of their changes. And um, then they had uh, a list of the accessories that you'll be able to plug stuff into and use Python, CircuitPython, to control things. And then uh, we have this uh, really big uh, graphic. So what we did was... Do you want me uh, to go to the overhead? And yeah, I'm going to go to the overhead in a second. So what we did is we, uh, we have one of these. We cracked it open. Cracked it open. And we actually saw the chip, and they put a chip on there just to do this. Yeah. So, so close. Yeah, so that little pink dot there on the right is where a fork of circuit I, I like to th imagine that the keyway dot is pink because Blink is pink. And then this yeah. is the flash memory that goes with it. So there you go. All right. Um, so that is. Blinka lives here. News. 